Hey guys, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, we finally hit Masters. I didn't think it was going to happen, but we did get there in the end. For some reason, people thought I didn't have it yet, but like I got it last season for the first time. Even the title of the first video of the series is Can We Get Masters Again? Unfortunately, my iPad did run out of storage and cut a good bit of the last game, but I managed to get like a little bit of it. I don't know why I just cut some of it, because maybe I didn't have enough for all of it. But I have the live commentary, and I'm going to put that over the replay. And then once it gets to the part where it's the live gameplay, it'll switch to the live gameplay, because that wasn't cut. But we won't get to see the draft, because it cut that out. Alright, we've got the worst knockout map ever. I hate this map. I don't understand draft on it. And it's just really weird, like... I don't get if you're supposed to go on the lanes or you're supposed to like take your side like I don't get if you're supposed to play it vertically or horizontally that's just my fault but I don't like it when we get this guy on bow it's like it's he's a bow one trick <laughs> he put it up before I suggested I swear I knew it was coming he loves himself some bow but unfortunately they only need to win one game to win because he'll quit if they win one but we need two. So we're kind of at a disadvantage because of that. But they did pick Bonnie. Nani's open, which I will take because it's really good against Bonnie. Because you can just one shot right when she lands and she won't get any damage off. Thang! I mean, alright. I don't know about that. I want to take Nani. Thang isn't a horrible pick. Jesse's a little weird. I'm not sure. Jesse could work. It's good against the Charlie. Pam. These are some interesting ones. I'm just going to pick Nani. Why not? Now they can't take Mandy. Now they can't take... Yeah. Buster's going to be frustrating for sure. I think Fang actually might have been better than the Pam. I'm not sure about that. Pam isn't the worst into Buster. She kind of wins the interaction unless he gets super and then it's not good. But he has to super first and then pull. Because once he pulls to him, she can just gadget all his ammo away. But I will compliment him and say that Ratita's pretty good at bow, because it's all I've ever seen him play, and the occasional Piper, which is like his favorite brawler, I guess. And he's pretty good at that, but... He gets instant pulled by Buster. Alright, okay. Teammate's already dead. So maybe I can get super here. Go right up here. I just want super. Nope, I get nothing. Um, watch this guy shoot at me. Nah. Alright, maybe check this time. Yeah. Don't know why we didn't do that the first time. Alright, still watch out, because Buster could still be there. Yeah, he is. Way to defend me, Pam. What in the world? Are we going to play defense or what? I don't know why they just stood there and let me die. As soon as the Bonnie jumped, they should have gone back. But it's fine, we'll get the round win. But a wasted super is frustrating. And I don't really understand what Pam was doing there. I also don't understand the Pam pick. But those are good bow mines, those are going to be important. Pam does have good bush checking, and I can go like that. But it's kind of hard to get a real angle. Oh, he's right there. And the wasted Pam gadget? Or maybe not, I'm not sure. It's going to be a 2v3. He's dead, I think. <gasps> okay, well played, though. Well played. I gotta come help Pam. I can't super. Alright. We get that. Um. Alright, she's dead. But we can just do that and win. I was, I was so focused, I was not commentating that game. I'll try and do better this one. Especially that last round, I was dead quiet. I'm going to save Super for Bonnie. Uh, I, good thing I had a return to sender left, because I can just walk in a straight line. I think I'm mid, because I can't abandon Bo or Pam. Alright, he is over here, it's good to know. We can just keep checking. Once Rotita gets Bo mines, it's going to be a lot easier to fight. Or I can wall break. If Pam will play defense this time. 
Okay, unfortunately... Alright, that's why it's a nice pick in Devani. Pam? <gasps> Pam! I was just about to get mad at you. And then you clutched. Fully redeemed yourself. I take back what I was about to say. I was going to be very mad if you just ran at them. I wonder if I can get, like, Bonnie. 80 HP? Disagree. Loki, that's a good play from Pam. If she hits the shot, but she didn't, so... We need to get damage off, at least. Oh, if I can get the kill there, that's fine. I think Pam has super. If Ratita saves... Okay, never save. Never, I mean, do save. Oh, I guess I could have supered. But I think there's a world where Bonnie catches up to me there. I think it's better to just save. Big super? Aw. I don't- I can't really kill anyone on their team. So I think Char- oh, Char yeah, Charlie still has gadget. Um, bad super from Buster. Uh, bad super from Charlie. Pam's alive and the survival. If we- yeah, we can confirm this. Alright, and it's a free win. You know what? Maybe Retita isn't that bad of a player. Especially if you stick him on the bow, he's pretty good. I got star player, I played well, and we are like, that's two games right there. Two more games, and we can get Masters this season. Alright, this game we're going against Ratita, and after all the trash talk I've said about him, I have to win this. I need this. Um, Eve would be good for us, I don't know who to ban, I'm just gonna ban Charlie. Miranda ban, but she's pretty good here. I don't know if we can get Eve, we can. Eve is just such a good mid on this map. I would very much appreciate the Eve. This guy has no levels, so at least he's getting the Eve. Power 10 is fine. It's better than power, like, 1, like the rest of his. You could definitely win power 10 into power 11. Like, it's not that much of a difference. I mean, hypercharge, no hypercharge, but that's... Not every brawler has one anyway. Like, there's no Eve hypercharge. Spike is pretty good. We might be able to get, like, a thrower, but we don't have last pick, so I doubt we get a thrower here. Bo is banned. They nerfed Ratita. I should have banned Bo. He's actually, he's pretty good at Piper, I think. Those are the only two brawlers I've ever seen him do well at. Yeah, Apeit's pretty good, but it's not that hard for Eve. I think we could Brock here, David. If we're on the same wavelength here. I'm thinking Brock. It's really good into Spike, and it's really good into Apeit as well. And then for the last pick, I might pick Buster. Maybe not, maybe like a Leon or something. I don't want to be too weak to tanks. Eve is not horrible into tanks though. I feel like it could just Maisie. Like Maisie's not good into Spike, but pretty good into Apeit to be honest. And I think it just full counters any tanks they might have. And it's decent into throwers. Although I'm doubt I doubt they're picking a thrower here. Because Brock will just break open any walls the thrower wants. They go with Colt. I think it's a decent pick. It's actually pretty good into Eve. It shreds the pets. I think you can get rid of like quadruplets, but I don't think this guy even has quadruplets. And I don't think he has a better level, so we'll just keep the power 10. It's fine. I do sort of wish he had the uh, second gear on it. That'd be nice, because you can get second gears on power 10s. But to be fair, like my power 10s do not have the second gear yet. We want Brock on left. Although he could also go right and wall break, but I think I'll go this way because I'm closer range. And then obviously Eve is mid because they get cover that other people don't. It's going to be interesting to see what Ratita does on a brawler that's not Bow or Piper. Though he kind of shredded me there, or maybe it was the cold, I couldn't tell, they were all shooting at me. We can just push up and get one shot. We want the... He's on reload. Which I think is better, because this wall is going to be really helpful for us. Good curveball dodges from Tango Novia. Art. We definitely have full control, but on this map, if one of your lanes goes down... Alright, free kill though. And then we can not get that kill, but... 
forced to TP back, and then I think we can take position here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. <laughs> Maybe not yet with the spinning. You basically died there. Alright, he can get that last gem. It's gonna be hard for them to push up. I messed up the combo, but I didn't I didn't have the timing right. Alright, please back up. Apit does shred you. But I guess he has jump, and that's why he's pushing up, but Is he a wind trader? Okay. I was worried for a sec that he was like a wind trader for the other team, and he was just gonna like <laughs> give them the gems. Wind trading is actually so bad right now. I feel like it happens one in like five games. Sometimes it happens like on the other team and they'll do it and I'll get a free win or something like that. Like they're not doing it for me, but they're doing it for one of my teammates or they just hate someone on their team. But it's just really annoying. I wish the report button would actually do something because that would just be make power league. Like I feel like the competitive mode shouldn't be so easy to cheat in. Like, cause it's just a free win if someone's win trading for you. And even if they do it like full on, like blatantly, nothing gets done about it. That's a jump, hopefully. We're definitely on the wrong lanes, and it's actually bad because I can't switch onto the other lane now that the wall breaks there. I was using that so much. I have to rely on... Oh, he's low. Once I get one super and his spike gadgets go away, then better chance. I do one-shot spike gadget. That's going to be huge, I feel like. It's not like the stew matchup where it's like stupidly hard to break it. I don't know about the... I think we swap maybe. I still think it's a hard lane to win. Because... But this guy, the Colt didn't have the best aim in the last game. And plus if Eve focuses him... Alright. No turret's good. It means we can get a, like a sneaky kill on him. If I have this cover, I can beat Colt. I can't if I have no cover, but like, it's gonna be hard for him to push up here. But, if I feed him wall break... I wanna focus the 8-bit turret. Alright. I thought I was out of gadgets, it was just the cooldown. They're gonna get shredded. Oh, bad for me. And then the horrible hypercharge as well. That's bad. I mean... Maisie Hypercharge, I'm kind of in a long-range scenario. I don't know how much value is going to get, but I, there would have even been a better stat buff Hypercharge I could have done. Oh, that's bad for me. Now they can actually get forfeit the countdown on us. We can push up. Oh, they do get a nice kill. Alright, and we can get that. They can run. No, we're not <laughs> They do not like someone on their team. That is a lot of spinning. We're getting wacky maps, but we're playing well. That's two star players in a row. I'm gonna give it to the guy who quits every game. See if he gets any, not really. But that's one game. That's gotta be one game, surely, right? Like I'm inside the wings. I'm feeling confident on the Piper. They might be Grand Piano? No, Grand Piano. That's a good tap. Oh, I almost got Grey hooked. I did get another hit. He cleans it up. We don't want to waste a curve. We also don't want to die. If we get low, we can curve. Alright, we're going to push up slowly and carefully. Diego's got to be careful here. Alright, I'm gonna do that. That might break it open for them. Oh, it did. Whoops, these guys. Sorry. I should not have done that. I just gave them entry to mid. But I feel like breaking bushes might be a little more important than that. But that is bad that I gave them entry to mid. Alright, if I curve paired with the Nani super... Oh, I wish he dies there, but he doesn't. Good from light, but there's nothing you can do about that, I don't think. See, this is why I want a Piper. He's gonna try and TP, but that's a bad play. 
Yeah, he should have just saved it. I mean, who threw? Was it the RT who just ran at me? That's why snappy sniping is always the better star power. Like, you don't even need the knockback gadget. I mean, if you're playing Mortis, you do. But you don't need the knockback gadget to be better at close range. Because you can just spam auto-aim. Last time I gave them entry to mid. We don't want that to happen again. Yeah, I'm... I think the draft went all right. Yeah, he's got to put that there for the curve. Oh, that's bad for me. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, did RT also hit me? Because I thought Bo hit me and that's how I got shredded. That's that's bad plays for me. Because the beginning is where we struggle the most. Um, I wish we had this broken up, but we don't. Because when you have this, it's a lot harder to... Oh, that could be a kill from Nani. Yeah. Alright, I'm just... I, I'm just gonna super that. It kills our bushes. We don't really need it. It's a range match. And honestly, if they get in our bushes, that would be really annoying. Alright, we get the snipe. If we win this round, we get masters. We're like inside the rank. It's guaranteed if we win. Not a guaranteed win at all. Like, we're so close to being out. You never know with knockout. All right, we get the kill. All right, 2v3, please. Last thing I want is to get owned by RT. I have iPad storage full. That might kill my uh, boarding. Yeah, see, that's what I didn't want. But light, my goat. Please, like, I love you forever. Please be careful. One shot off dying, and then it's a 1v1. We need a devious light super. Please, yes! Alright, I don't know if this is even being recorded or not, but we are going to get it. We're going to finish off on Piper. Finally, the series is over. Uh, I'll accept it. Screenshot. Finally. I'm so tired of this. Not really, I like Power League. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.